<laughs> Welcome everybody to um but the Vietnam Grand Prix. Today I'm kind of doing a live stream. Kind of, kind of not. You know. So um yeah, I'm gonna be like doing what I would normally be doing. So um Yeah. Also I do have automatic gears and yeah, there might be a bit of a noise, so let's all hope that the noise isn't like too bad. Just wait, just, wait, just waiting. I haven't done a video like this for ages. But yeah, it might just about be um, ready to actually wait, to stop waiting. Yeah, are you ready? Thanks. Thanks, you are always... Off the back you will always be respected. <sighs> Here comes Vietnam Grand Prix. A uh, Mercedes car. Uh, we, I've changed the livery for the rest of the season. It looks pretty cool from the um, on-board camera. I might change all the... Um, yeah, from the um, TV pod. Or the TV pod offset which is the one that we'll be racing with today. The one that I think I can go faster with. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Yeah, yeah I f think I forgot where I am starting, which, which could be an issue. Race strategy. I think we're in, in amongst the pack. We can probably m go for we would like to go for the fastest one possible which is which is this one so you will do what the AI is also doing yeah, what did I tell you? It looks pretty good. Wait a second, it's a bit, um, the volume is a bit high. Hmm, me. Might be for you as well, I don't know. But, yeah, we, we got out of Q1. We're in, we start in, we get a great start, actually. That's a great getaway to turn one. Wow! What a start! Go a bit wide into the corner. We're battling it all out with Verstappen. What a start, though. Just avoiding a collision there. Verstappen and Perez right behind us. We are sl we were lucky to get that um that win in back in Australia. The first win for um That's a decent start. Good job. The team and for us. So um Yeah let's just um let's just try to keep it together really. That's all my goal is um for today. I have some like stupid assists on as well, so yeah. Well okay, that was a bit bad. Also I have flashbacks, infinite some may say. Let's just keep on going. I'm gonna like break it so we don't actually like have to which I guess it's okay. Okay, we lost a lot of time in doing that. I'm gonna get a flashback again. Cause that is me. That makes me me. We get no room at all, unfortunately. We have no room to move anywhere. We go as full look as possible and just no room at all to steer into. We just understeer off the road though, which is 
not ideal. But we, we're hunting down for a podium. That's all that we're trying to do. What lap is it? Only lap four, only lap one. Okay, that's, that's great. That's, that's awesome. Absolutely awesome. We clipped the barrier there, but and but we do um, set a decent lap time. We're up into P4 from P11 somehow. I mean, what a start that was, though. Completely the best getaway, probably, of the entire season. So let's just hope that we can keep that momentum and hopefully finish a good position. We are slightly gaining on Leclerc. I'm actually pretty good at Vietnam, I would expect. Look how close we are now. Just that chicane is my favourite. I like... I just like the way... I just like how it... I just like the flow of it, really. And you can see we are gaining a bit of time at the top left on Leclerc. Or oh, now we're perhaps losing a bit, but we might try to make the dive into the hairpin I would expect that would not the dive that we are looking for so we we'll flash back again to a time where we can perhaps get more of a chance on overtaking him we're not going to overtake him in there because I reckon the first corner might be a better option and we might get you know what I'm not the hero of Vietnam so I don't exactly know where everything is so yeah I'm you know, just focusing now really just on the um, on how I'm gonna try to do this we just keep on understeering off the track there and we just can't get any just can't gain any time it's a thing that's really bad we, we clipped the wall again on the exit except fastest lap, lap um luckily but didn't feel like it on that that final corner i felt like i lost a lot of time but it was the fastest lap so uh yeah i guess that's okay do get drs in the clear we can hope that we can gain some time we're trying to get in the slipstream we're gonna have nowhere else to go we're gonna yeah that was a bit sorry I do that quite often sometimes I'm going to um, try to aim for um, a podium today if I can get a podium I think that that in itself will be a miracle and wow we're in the podium positions already well, overtake as well. Unfortunately, he will get the others on us, and he's got a great chance because it's a very long straight. You can see it's just opened up for him, and we're going to try to pull out to this side, the more dirty side of, on the track. But as you can see, Verstappen has just passed Ricardo, and it's a big ding dong battle over there. But we are struggling a for a little bit of grip now, which is a bit of an issue, because um, grip is because grip is very important at Vietnam. I would like to admit, but obviously again, it's a new circuit. I've only driven um, like 20 laps around it, maybe, maybe 25. I don't know. So. Unlike like Bahrain, I'm probably we're really leading Carlos by a while as we go extremely wide. I have to lose time to Leclerc, and I'm tempted to get him to get past him. I to let him pass because I don't feel like the faster car in this situation, which I'm definitely am not. I I. The tyres are really slipping away, actually. I can feel... 
they're, they're okay tire wear, I guess. But not ideal again. One or two more laps I'll be able to do, but then I'm gonna have to pit because they're not in the best um, condition. And as you can see, Leclerc does pass us as well. I was expecting. I don't try. I try not to put up a big fight because I know he is the faster car, which I think is the smarter move there because. I just think it's a smarter move because if we do that, then then we could still get up to the podium. Like if he retires or like someone else, one of the Mercedes retire, because they've been having bad luck um, last season and maybe this season. I haven't really looked reflected back on the beginning of the season, but you can see that we are going to get DRS, get a terrible exit, as, like always. That is such a bad corner, the final corner. The, yeah, I just hate it. It's the worst thing about Vietnam, I, I would like to say. Okay. <laughs> We're just trying to gain more and more time. We just keep on hitting the barrier. The barrier is so close. And Flavagas the Archer is struggling in his new livery. Oh, but we are still doing pretty well actually and we're going to do the same overtake that we did before Leclerc, Leclerc hit us nice Leclerc did hit us look let me go back he, so you can see us right behind he driven straight into us that's what I love to see absolutely love but because of that mistake that Leclerc did if we can try to move out the way of the slipstream, which he is currently in. See, so he's completely off the line. We do not want, because he is copying us, and we can't be on the line. I'm just wondering how much fuel do we have now? We have a bit of fuel. We, I'm not going to go to Witch Mix just yet, but I'm pretty sure I will pretty soon. Like, maybe if I go up to um, a plus two laps, then I'm going to go to um, Witch Mix. A plus two, I've got to remember that. If I get up to a plus two, oh, that time I didn't clip the barrier, but I felt like I did. I'm, 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 uh, everything. I don't think it's actually gonna look like it's. I'm gonna go up to a plus two actually. If we go extremely wide into the corner, it's annoying. And then <coughs> box this lap. Stopping this lap. I'm gonna um, box this lap. My tyres feel completely dead. I can't drive with them much longer at all now i'm just losing more and more grip more and more traction off the corners so i'm gonna do an early pit stop i'm not sure if i accidentally said box this lap okay the time last lap was a one minute forty one point eight Okay, we're gonna come out um, in 19th, but our next tire is gonna be the mediums, and we're gonna hope that we can. Wow, what a fail! I could have done a really good overtake there. Let's just hope that I can. Actually, I th I'm gaining a lot of time on the clay. You can see. Again, I don't There's like that corner, how slow it is. And you can see that we're losing a lot of time. The red ball's right there. And there is a yellow flag I just saw in at the corner of my eye at, in that um, last corner. Esteban Ocon in the Renault is out of the race. 
I believe so. Um, unlucky for him, he, I, he was driving a terrible race, but you could easily turn stuff around, you know. Now the next time is the mediums. See now properly that in the corner there um, he has retired. So some drivers are coming into the pit lane, which is not, which is nice to be honest. Come on, let me out. Let me at it. I want it. To speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. Okay, Nick the Reese in a in the has is up ahead. So I'm gonna um check let's go to Rich Mix now. So cause the next lap because this lap is crucial. If we can overtake the Reese and Giovanazzi this lap, then we've got a good chance of of, uh, of getting past the Claire. We just need a good lap. And he's fighting with us. I don't know why he is, but he's fighting. He shouldn't be fighting for position, because I'm on the mediums. So I'm a lot faster than him, obviously. But again, just trying to get out of the slipstream so he didn't try to overtake us again. Jovanazzi up ahead. We don't want him to... We don't want... Here, we don't, okay, that that's that was a really bad um, moment there for me. I'm just trying to get out of the slipstream. That's the thing. And I'm just desperate to overtake Joe Bonazzi, and no room given. Get spun around, and that is how life is always for me. I'm just gonna stay to the. I'm just gonna try to get in the slipstream of. Joe Renazzi now. We do manage to get the overtake done there, which is which is okay. We don't actually get a warning because we, we our braking isn't very good in in this car, which again is an issue. This car is a very this car is not a very good one, actually. But I'm a very good but I'm a pretty good driver. Or oh, an okay driver at least. I hope Leclerc's coming into the pit lane now. Which a Ferrari is in the pit lane. And it is Leclerc and we are past. We are past Bottas actually. We are up into a net second place, I believe. We go extremely wide. Okay, so um, Leclerc is behind us, luckily. He's two seconds behind us. So we have passed the Clev in the pit stops. And we're on the rich mix. No, and we're on rich mix. Trying to catch up with Russell and Sainz. Just fitted the hard tires. Car behind. Oh, that's... Oh, idiots. Okay, um... Leclerc is a natural idiot. He put on the hard tires. Surely he would want to put on the mediums. So we have not only fresh and mediums but he'll have the advantage to catch up with me and get on podium, but no, he decides to go in the hards, which is the harder tyre, which means a slower tyre, which means I am more likely to keep P3 and get on the podium for the um, Grand Prix, for the Vietnam Grand Prix for the second year running, which will be great to hear. So let's just hope that we can Salvage this. You can see there's Russell. Uh, uh, if we could, I think we can catch up with um, Bottas. Let me just check with the race director. Um, if I can, where's um, Bottas is on the mediums. Okay. So he's on the mediums. We're unlikely to catch up with the Mercedes, so. Oh, it's that faster sector two as well, which is pretty good. Pretty decent, actually. As you can see now, um, 
Signs and Russell's coming to the pit lane. And it's up to us to try to gain more and more time on Bottas and maybe even get second place here. Seconds. I mean, last year we were actually battling for the lead. This year, we're nowhere near battling for it, but we're good. Wow. Okay. Uh, some, how do you... Let's just say that I'm going to finish in P3, okay? I might end the recording there. I, I don't think we've done a lot, though, so... Just drive no, very normally, very, very normally. Come on. Okay, look, Les behind us. He don't get no DRS. He might get overtaken by Ricardo. Let's see. Oh, look. It's, um... It is Kai, who's... How old are you? I'm three. And he's three. Look, I'm driving this racing game. Uh, maybe after, because this is a bit of a difficult one. And I'm just racing at the moment. We just um, make it like that, so you guys could probably, hopefully, hear him. And I'm just trying to hope that we can salvage a good performance, because we... You could try and do it after this race, because this race is very important, and I need to, um, and the other, I need to win, and I'm really close to. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Okay, we might have to go to um, standard now, and You're we're gonna the have on the car behind by five tenths per lap. Five tenths per lap. That's pretty decent. I would like more updates from Jeff. More updates. Got that confirmed? Yeah. Our gap to the car in front is 2.4 seconds. Pardon? No, I stopped it, but um, yeah, that's pretty good. You'll get the hang of it one day. Let's just hope that we can gain time. That's all I need. Gain time on Bottas and I'll be happy. We're in P16 and... No, no, we're going to get 16 points if we finish in this position because he got fastest lap as well. And he's helping me, so... Which is actually pretty decent, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kai. It's actually helping me from um, not um, understeering and o or oversteering. Actually, he's actually making it a bit easier for me. Kind of. I'm, I'm not gaining any time, but I'm not, like, losing much time. Now he's going in front of me on the steering wheel and it's almost like I'm going to run him over. Jeez. I'm s oh, do a bit of drumming? Okay. Can you turn that off if you can then? Ah, oh, bless him. Apparently, Hamilton and Bottas are one lap ahead of me. Uh, I don't think so. I think he's on the minimap. It's clear to me that he's uh, that he's ahead of me, and he, uh, and he's there. We go. It sorted itself out. Uh, not now. Do you want to um, go upstairs and play with Isla? See what she's doing. And push this one. So. I'm pretty fast through this chicane, you know? There's 
just four laps of fuel remaining. Teammate. Repeat that, there's interference. Teammate status. Gap to teammate behind is 19.8 seconds. Okay, that's They're bad. in fresh mediums. They're in 15th. The time last lap was a 142.7. Our speed up, Carlos. This lap time's gonna be so much quicker than um, Carlos. Like really. So guys, do your prediction for the Belgium Grand Prix. Um, not this weekend, but next one. Because yeah. Also, I can. I don't mind telling you that. Um, I went to see Scout Camper. Um, yesterday. He's got a caravan at a caravan park thing it's actually a really nice place it's actually pretty big for a caravan as well so um yeah well, um it's actually really good and we went to an affair uh, i forgot where it is but um it, it's about like 32 minutes or something like that away from where i'm actually recording so the gap to yeah. the car ahead is 4.0 seconds Tire wear. I missed the tire wear. Okay, tire wear's um, okay. Engine is okay. Fuel is decent. Everything's okay, actually. I, I'm going to have to focus on the fuel because if I don't save any, then I'm going to um, lose because then I'm not going to have enough fuel to actually finish the race, which is going to be a big oopsie, so which we all do not, which I never want happening, actually. We're gonna go into the corner, we're gonna mess up completely and keep on driving. And all I want now is just to do a good race because I am a very good driver I think personally but I'm not sure about you guys so yeet I'm interested to see what happens after this Grand Prix it's like we're gonna get any new sponsors we've got this store at the moment we've got DSP optics Manage your tyres, it's okay. I'm, I'm doing well, it's okay. You're dropping a second a lap to the car behind, one second. Okay, by next, by the end of the lap, I'll... If I can... Yeah, I am actually being rather slow at the moment. We have two laps of fuel remaining. My last lap was terrible. Come on. Driver behind. Ricardo is behind you. Okay, the gap behind is 2.1 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Second, Their no. tyres are four laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 41.0. It, it's four laps old. He pitted lap eight. I was gonna pit lap. Um, I was gonna pit lap seven, but I ended up pitting lap six. My tyres are two time, like two laps older than his. To car in front is 4.9 seconds. I actually really like the um, physics of this section. It's actually really fun um, to drive along. So if you don't have the F1 2020 game and you, you're going to get it, I think the first track you should um, drive around is Vietnam because it's actually a really fun track to drive along got tight corners you have to know the apex this is your final lap final lap of and the race. everything's really fun actually so um yeah i recommend doing that as your first thing next one it's probably start no, it's probably um doing time trials 
um, around um, the Netherlands and Vietnam and then um, starting my team career mode and if you have a YouTube channel be free to do, um, do that you never know you might get a few views let's just hope that we can get in a good performance that's all I beg for guys that's all I beg for and whooshing we be going down the straight, we're losing a lot of time to Ricardo. You can see him down the road. And if you want for the final um, lap, I can I could do that. So there'll be a virtual thing at the back. You can see. So you could. So um, yeah, I'm gonna focus on the road, and you focus on behind because you can see he's right there and I'm focusing on the thing too much Wait a second. sorry 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 so much I the, um Kai turned on something and which I needed to turn off or else he would explode If I do a mistake, it can cost me really badly. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in standard for maybe the rest okay, of the race. And pretty soon, like a few... One, two, three, four, five. And I'm turning on Rich Mix. And I'm going to um, finish a race on the um, on, at Fuel Mix 3, which is Rich Mix and... This is a very successful race. Lewis Hamilton dominates ahead of Valtteri Bottas. Mercedes won two, but we come home for a third season and a, for a third a podium. Well yeah, for a third podium in, um, for um, this season uh, for the, and the third race, we get driver of the day and... The Mercedes... And what? A race that was. We're probably not in the lead of the championship anymore, but uh, yeah, it's okay. We're gonna have to do some major um um upgrades to the car, though. If you want a good um. Yeah, if you want a good um, performance for um, the rest of the season, if we want um, Carlos getting some points, we we're bound to want to um, get some. We're bound to want to up upgrade the car. We need to upgrade the car, um, or else our car would be very competitive, and it would be just us getting the points. We got well drilled, which is okay. And we do also get a new car and a new um So let's review the updated driver standings. Our current championship leader dominated the track, securing a win and further increasing their advantage. So, Anthony Davis, okay. who would you yeah. rank as your driver I'll... of the day? I'm going to give it to the owner driver today. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula 1. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improved their position in the Championship. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. So, um, yeah, apparently it said that, so we're still in the lead of the championship, and he said that we won the race, which is great. Unfortunately, again, it was just us that um, got any points today, which, which is an issue, because we really need to, in that case, upgrade um, the car completely in every single way.
amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Well, I couldn't do this without the team behind me, actually. You had a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip, or did you just misjudge some corners? Well, first, I didn't actually do a, put a lot of paint. Secondly, the firstly on the walls, I didn't put much paint on the walls today. Secondly. Um, damage is off, so I don't have any damage on. And thirdly, I've got no more comments. It was more like dodgems than Formula One today, wasn't it? Uh, the, uh, no comment. Well, here's hoping they're working hard to find some improvements. Yeah, we're going to try to upgrade as many um, things as possible. That was also actually a pretty good performance in the rivalry, in the terms of rivalry, because now we're um, now we're um, definitely doing good performances compared to Vettel. It's three nil for us Vettel, so far um, this season in the rivalry. So let's hope we can keep the momentum. This week's income from the sponsors has cleared, and we're making good profit against our running costs. Okay, we're gonna manage the sponsors. We got two new ones gone. Um, this one, this is gonna be a difficult one. This, um, it gives them an okay weekly income. So we're gonna take that and um and achieve is also an, uh, another one that we're gonna get. I'm not sure if we. Had it before or anything like that. But yeah, um. Livery. So this new one could be cool. So what we're having is, um, a blue, black, white, and grey. Blue. Which we're gonna make that. Blue, white, black, and a uh, grey. That looks nice, actually. I like that. That's not bad. That's not a bad looking car. But to be honest, I'm just gonna have to stick with that. Um, here we're gonna keep it the same. Here we're gonna have it as that. Here we're gonna have um. That here we're gonna have we're gonna have to uh, make it that so yep now all we need is just this because we're gonna have we can make this dish dark can't we there we go. Well, this is a new build, and jeez, that's one big l thing coming around our road. <laughs> Hope it don't bump into anything. There we go. Anyway, um, suit. We well, we have to change the suit definitely. We're gonna um, we're gonna change the yellow to uh. a uh, grey colour. We're going to change it to grey. We do also get a bit of money. We gonna we do get a bit of R&D points. This is probably what I'd invest in. I don't want to invest in I would invest in a powertrain if it were me. 
and it is and it is me. This has a 19% chance of failure. It got three upgrades. Um, we should have two by next um for next time. And I'll see you guys next time, I think.